Hello guys, welcome to Selenium CSS Selector tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can find the child or subchild elements on any web page when you are doing automation using Selenium. So whenever you are using Selenium for your automation, then you'll be required to identify the web elements and most of the time you'll uh, come across identifying the dynamic web element and these are the strategies so in the selenium css selector uh, that that we are learning now these strategies you can utilize to find the dynamic web element and direct child and sub child are the key things to understand in C, uh, selenium css selector so that you can utilize these concepts to find the dynamic web elements as well now the combinator for direct child is basically the greater than sign so that's basically the combinator that you will use and it is used to select the direct child of the particular element that you select now the syntax is pretty simple if you see here the tag name um, the attribute for that particular tag if you are going to use any uh, particular attribute and the attribute value and then the child combinator and followed by the tag name and the attribute of the child node so here if you see this particular whole uh, node that you will get is basically it should be the child element of this particular tag here right so uh, th this should be the direct child of this particular parent and what this symbol or the combinator means is this web element will be the direct child of the parent so the example is basically if there is a tag name with a select and which has an ID of the country. So we have seen that previous in the previous tutorial that in CSS selector you use the hash symbol to represent the ID. So ID is uh, the country, the value of the ID is country, then the child combinator which is greater than sign and the child element. So you can use either direct option or you can provide the value for the particular child that you want to select the direct child that you want to select now in the case of child or sub child it will basically select all the child and any other sub childs within that child and for that there is a descendant combinator which is nothing but a space so you have the parent node and then space then the node the child node so what it will do is it will select the child node and then any matching node below that particular child node. So for example, the child node has uh, the tag name as div and then below that uh, child name, there are three or four more divs, which are the sub child. Then all those web elements will be selected when you will use the descendant combinator, which is nothing but a space between two uh, web elements. So let's do uh let's understand these uh, practically and see the examples rather than just going through the slide so i'll go to the salesforce developer page here and let's start with the child first so here let me refresh this page and on this particular page i'll scan a web element say role and let me inspect it so this is the browser uh, chrome browser i'm just using chrome to inspect the web element and you can see here that this particular web element has uh, the tag select with name as user job role and id as job role okay so these are the attributes then if i expand this this particular parent which is node select has uh, the child as option uh, there are multiple childs right so one two three four five and six child in this particular select node so let's understand how you can select the child element using the child operator uh, or um, the combinator the child combinator that we used and then we'll use the descendant combinator as well okay so to start with the first thing is the the tag name so i'll start with the tag name select so i'll start typing let me copy the id for this particular node as well so select and then for css selector to represent an id it starts with hash and the value of the id right so now you can see that particular node has been highlighted in yellow okay 
Now to select the child node you just need a greater than sign okay and the tag that you want to select okay so you can if you just provide the tag option it will select the first child of that particular node so the first tag name is select and with this child combinator greater than sign with option it selected it highlighted the first child element below this particular parent okay if i want to select any other child so these are all the direct child right so i can select any of these if i want to specify some of the attributes so for example unique attribute i want to specify the attribute value and the actual value of the attribute so i want, I want to select the developer okay so in the quotes developer and now you can see that developer has been selected so how will this be helpful in case of dynamic web element okay so for example this is the parent here right and just the first child you want to select but the first child doesn't have any unique attribute every time you refresh the page it gives uh, the attributes which are basically dynamic so what you can do is simply uh, you can use the child combinator and you can say option okay so for example this parent node has the static attribute you just use the id for that and then you selected the first child of that parent even though the child has dynamic attribute you will still be able to select so that's where this child attribute is helpful there are a lot more combinations that you can do uh, and there are a lot many other um, pseudo classes that i'll be discussing in css selector which will help you to identify dynamic element very easily. All right, so that's all about the child uh, uh, element selector or the child com combinator for the direct child. Now, when it comes to sub child, child or sub child, then you need to use descendant combinator, okay? Before that, let me explain you one more thing. So this, these are all options are the direct child. Now, do you think anything apart from these options will be you will be able to select um, say for example here if you see this select web element as well these has options as well so for example can you select any of the values for this particular parent the answer will be no because the parent for these options is the select name with an id country but the parent for these options is basically the select with an id job role okay so with the child combinator what you can select is basically the direct child of a parent so even though if i put the option value here and specify a value say for example i want to specify au it still won't select any of the values here it won't select this option value because the parent for this node that i have highlighted here is not select with an id job role okay so that's a key thing to understand with the child uh, direct child now when it comes to child or sub child the difference is only that it will select all the child and then any sub child nodes that match the uh, the tag so let's understand that so for example I just want to remove this sign and replace it with space okay so we were at the job role so I'll just remove the value okay I'll just remove the attribute there okay so now you can see that one of six has been selected now previously with the child operator it used to select one of six and now as well it is selecting one of six six so what is the difference basically the difference is say for example below this option there were more sub child nodes then it would have selected all the sub child nodes as well let me take another example say for example this particular form okay i'll take this node here and we'll write the form id is the org form so i'll just say form id the org form okay and let's start with space and div 
so what this will do is basically it will select all the divs uh, that are below this form node so all the child divs as well as it will select sub childs as well okay so you can see that it selected the second one then it went to below this div class uh, uh, div tag and then selected the sub childs as well okay so it is selecting all the child direct child and the sub child so that's the difference between the combinator and direct child now if i change it to so here you see that it is 9 of 14 so basically there are 14 nodes that that will be selected with this combinator right with the um, descendant combinator which will pick child and sub child but with the direct child if i change it to greater than sign here you can see only one of seven which is basically showing that only seven web elements are there with the tag div which are the direct child of the form of the node form with an id dr form okay so let's see and navigate these childs here so div yes it is the direct child of form um, node then the second is the direct child with a class horizontal fields and then it won't go inside okay now you can see it went to another div right then it went to another div and it's not selecting divs which are below this particular div okay this doesn't have any more divs so let me go to the next one let's see if there are any divs here no there are not um yep so here you can see that there is one div below it but it didn't select that so if i move next it won't go inside it will go uh, to select the next div so that's what the difference between the child direct child or the uh, child and sub child selection is so direct child is greater than sign and space is the combinator for selecting the child and sub child for the parent node so that is pretty much all about finding the child or sub child elements using the child combinator or the descendant combinator in css selector so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching